started off the morning with stabbing a hole in my roof. <laughs> so I had this board left over. I got to cut this out. Um, and I stuck the point right through the roof, right through the ceiling. So um, this boat's going to have planers right here. These guys right there. So that's what these are. So I got to cut the part that goes here and the part that goes there. And so that's what I got this board right here. So I'm going to go with it's going to work this time. There you go. Those are the two pieces. There you go. What do you say, Nolly? What do you say, Spence? Anything good to say? No, nope. so that part's done. So now I am cutting the bulkheads. Uh, bulkheads, yeah. Uh, for the inside, these are half-inch sheets of, of plywood. So there's my old. There's the old. There's the old bottom. <laughs> All right, now I marked them in the factory edge. Locker, bulkhead. This is going to be the sole. Really should have cut that before I started assembling the boat. Damn it. All right, so when, uh, so when I started of stitching everything together, I left everything loose so I could move things and readjust things as I went. And um, it worked, it seemed to be the good move until now. Uh, I just realized I, I should have tightened the um, the planks in between. I can't reach these guys with the side, and I can't. Me being as tall as I am, I can't reach these guys to pull everything together. So since they're not pulled together, I can't start building out the bulkhead. So you see, there's a big gap. The, the, the ties are loose. I just need to figure out some way. To get in here, yeah, we have to go grab a small child somewhere and throw them up here and start zipping them down. All right, so like everything else, um, the most difficult issue or most difficult problem is normally solved by the simplest solution. So you can figure out what that is. So we got the seams all locked down. You see, they're they're all either zero tolerance. I got maybe an eighth of an inch right there gap, but everything else is all zipped up. So I had to remove the transom, remove the transom the wife held that side of the boat up so the boat kind of collapsed and I was able to get in here and tighten everything down. So that's done. Let's get the cutting. I already got it all formed. I just spent some time doing all my measurements and, um, and this this is pretty cool. I want to tell people online to making the arcs. You can see the arcs right there. Just stuck a nail in there with the with the twist tie attached to it to wrap, wrap the length and just walk right around. So. A perfect, a perfect um, half circle. So anyway, let's get started. Kind of odd. I hit this a couple of times now with this marine grade. I'm, I'm hitting something that the saw will not go through. It simply stops. Um, it just simply stops. And I gotta jump it back and forth before it cuts and hit it with another piece and it, the jigsaw jumped and I actually cut bad cut. But it's really bizarre. I don't know if it's glue or if it's they have a lot of, you know, um, a lot of fixes on. I wonder if that may be what it is, but anyway, I'll finish this up. So last time I cut one of these, it worked out all right. It wasn't completely round. It you know, had a tendency to jump, so I'm trying to take my time on this one. So hopefully it works out. Let's see. Now that 
Not too bad. Got a little knock right there. A little knock right there. But overall, I think my jigsaw cuts are getting a hell of a lot better. I guess that kind of goes without saying, but. So there you go. It's all cut out, all the size. Not much right there. But anyway, it's looking pretty good. Making progress. Look at that. Right in there, my end arc point through my mid arc, right a damn button right on the end point mark. Look at that. I mean, it's perfect. It's perfect. It took like two minutes. I mean, you don't understand how great this is. When I was doing <laughs> making one arc points, I can take a half hour, 45 minutes to figure it out, but I think about it, you know, it's like anything else. Probably got the hand of it. Got the hand of it. That gone. I'm just excited. Look at that. You can't really see it. It has perfect arc. Didn't move. Oh, good pencil. I've learned. I saw this somewhere. I forgot about it. But when you mark things, if you spin the, if you spin the pencil, it'll keep it sharper longer. Who knew? Now you do. All right. So in this build, there's a piece of, there's a couple of pieces. Let me show you. These guys right here. And see what they look like. Um, so I'm trying to cut them out. I got the start of the design right there. So at least I'm. At least. Oh, there's a crack on it. These guys right here. So that's the start. This is the back of it right here. But there's no. There's no arc points. There's no. There's no position to set up a. To set up a guide, um, and my batten, I don't know if a batten will work, and because there's, there's, here's the, here's the design, you see there's no arc points or anything on it. Ooh. I mean, if I have to go through and mark every single one, I've done that before, that was a pain in the butt, it didn't work out very well. Hmm. All right, so um, I think I finished it up. Just kind of laid it out here. I don't know if you can really see that, but uh, I had to make my own arc points. And what I've noticed is if I do too many, like this one doesn't match up at all. As you can see, it's a half inch off. But that one's dead on. That one's dead on. And that one's dead on. And that one's dead on. So what I've noticed is if I do too many, if I plot too many points, I can't get, it won't, I won't be able to lay it out, it won't work. So what I've learned is find like two or three tops and then, then you're done. Because any more will complicate things. But so I think I got that part, this over to here to this part. So now I just need to replicate this again for the other side. So um, anyway, this is the sole right here. See so that, that's what I did earlier. So now I just got to finish up the other side. And uh, we'll be ready to cut. I have to do a half moon. The center point is pretty much out here. And so I saw this somewhere. I'm hoping I got a string here. And I got the points marked. And it seems like if I, if I follow it with a pencil, it seems like it'll work. No, no, it doesn't seem like it's going to work. Anyway, I'm just going to wrap this some more, maybe. Wrap this guy some more here. It doesn't go anywhere. Let me just make it tighter. Hmm. Let's see. All right. So I've tightened it down. Now it's tighter. It kind of seems like this would work, right? It seems like it would work. I just followed it. Follow it to its extension, and it comes around, hits there. I probably should double wrap it around there. That might help. Anyway, let's let's see if this thing works. Did 
actually works. There you go, look at that. So I should have done a little tighter, but I think I'll do a little bit tighter. But there you, there you go, pretty impressive. All right, morning. So this morning I'm going to be cutting out uh, my final pieces. This is going to be my um, floorboard, my sole. These are going to be the supports for the side. So um, just cut these out. These are pretty much getting close to the end of the the main pieces. So this will be part of the bulkhead. And I got one more piece to do where I got a hatch way to, to cut out, and then that's going to be pretty much it. So I think most of everything I'm going here for after the, after today will be. I'm, I'm hoping um, sanding and um, and fitting so um, that should be pretty much it let's get started